Frustration tonight, Bonnetot County residents have been receiving notices about their personal property tax that could bring some increases. The Commissioner of Revenue says due to shortages in the vehicle market, the value for vehicles is now higher, but a lot of people are questioning this decision. WFXR's Amanda Lee joins us live from Bonnetot. Amanda, I understand a lot of people were surprised by this. Yeah, Drew, people here in Botetourt County have been getting letters like this one in the mail explaining that the value of their vehicles has increased over the past year, which means their property taxes could be a lot more. Uh, sure enough, I just opened the envelope and uh, there's a price increase on property taxes. It's very unfortunate that our Board of Supervisors would do this at a time when money is so very hard to come by. Residents sharing frustration over the increase in their tax bills. Donna Mock is on a fixed retirement income and has two vehicles. And if I were to trade them in, I would not get what they're worth. We would have to pay over $900 on two vehicles that are not new. Commissioner of Revenue Chris Booth sent out the letter. He says the phones have been ringing off the hook from people on fixed income. So they still have roughly the same income, but all their bills are more expensive. You know, electric bills, gas bills, um, grocery bills, and now tax bills have gone up. The Board of Supervisors stressed that although people are seeing larger bills, the actual tax rate remains the same. The problem is, due to the shortage of new and used cars, the value of vehicles have skyrocketed, and that higher value means a larger tax liability. In a statement, supervisors say they knew the tax would negatively impact citizens, so they increased tax relief by $250,000. I've heard many stories from people today where their taxes went up 50 to 100 percent year over year for the same vehicle and um, I definitely understand that mine went up as well and it's uh, it's quite a drastic increase. But for now residents are stuck with the bill. I think it was improperly assessed for our community. I did try to get in touch with someone on the Board of Supervisors today. I'm told that none of, none of them are able to go on camera today. For now, reporting live in Botetourt County, Amanda Lee, WFXR News. Let's turn now and get a quick check of your forecast. After several beautiful days, Chief Meteorologist John Carroll is tracking some rain, the bearer of bad news. Yes. John, two questions, when and how much?